Such new research suggests doctors may eventually be able to predict autism at an age when treatment is more effective. It means diagnoses may be possible in the first year of life instead of the current range of two to four years. Researchers performed brain scans on babies considered high risk because they have an older sibling with the disorder. And 81% of babies with abnormal brain development later developed autism. Our Dr. David Agus joins us from Los Angeles. Good morning. Um, morning, Nora. Doctor, this sounds like a breakthrough. What exactly did these brain scans show? Well, they took children and they actually did it at night when they were sleeping and they put them in an MRI. And what they showed is the cortical area of the brain, starting about six months, got thicker. This is the area that's responsible for input, what you see, what you hear, what you smell. But they could see the changes that then correlated to Alzheimer's at six months rather than waiting until they're wow. symptomatic at age two to four. So, David, is this going to become part of, of routine screening, do you think, for high-risk babies? It, you know, it's an early study, um, so it needs to be validated, but it's also not really a scalable study. MRI is difficult. You, yeah. you know, waiting for a child to fall asleep and put them in an hour in a machine with all this banging um, that's a very expensive test is probably not the way we're going to diagnose Alzheimer's, but it really, I autism. mean, uh, uh, autism. autism, but it really gives us hope that we're going to be able to intervene in this disease earlier. What are the odds, David, of, of having autism? Well, in the United States, it's about one in 68. Um, if you have a sibling, that number is significantly higher on the order of maybe 12 to 15. Why is that? Why is it higher for siblings? Well, because we think there's a genetic component to Alzheimer's. Autism. And so some Autism. of the genes have been identified, and we're going to learn more as we go forward. Right. We are talking about autism. And so why is that early detection so important? Well, early detection in autism is very important because if you intervene starting at six months, there's some data that you can have a better outcome later in the children. So we want to push earlier, diagnose earlier, so hopefully we can push them in the right direction for brain development and they can have a, a, a life that's actually uh, more compatible with speaking and interacting by that early intervention. So are you learning anything from the study on how to treat autism? Um, I, I think we're learning something in that we now have something to follow if we put in some of these treatments, whether behavioral or otherwise. And so now we can start to look, did we change this thickening of the brain at age six months? Dr. David Agus, always good to see you. Thank you, sir.